what's going on everybody how's my outdoor crew doing on this saturday hope you're doing well hope this video finds you well so the next couple of saturday videos coming out are gonna be a little bit different not gonna be a vlog style video but they will be more of a kind of how-to videos but shot in a different perspective it's gonna be more of a questioning videos so the first part of this video is going to be about have you ever deleted a video after you have shot a video? Now let me let me put a little more into that. So in the last couple months, twice now, and I just did it here not too long ago. Shot a video, edited the video, I put the video up, and then I went back and watched it on my computer again. And said that was not what I was wanting, not at all what I was wanting. Went back, reshot it, added some things in, critiqued a few things, watched it again. That's what I was hitting for. That was the video I was looking for. So then I went back and actually deleted the video I had put up on YouTube and put up the new video, left alone. I've done that twice now. I've done that twice now, I would say in the last couple of months, I know of. Then I shot the video and I just wasn't doing what I wanted to do. And I'm being very mindful of that these days, of how my video looked. Um, and I wanted it to look totally different from the way it did. Um, wanted it to be cleaner. Um, less looking at me more looking at stuff uh wasn't just just the uh um, video about you know whatever it was i was talking about at the time so a uh, question to you is have you shot a video and not liked it and not used it and deleted it and reshot it so let me know down in the comments down below coming up is part two all right so one of the things i do if i come up with a video i've always got this with me one way or another it's either in my big backpack or my little backpack but it's always with me in there i keep a little notebook so if i'm sitting at work or anywhere sitting in a restaurant if i come up with a video idea i write it down in this book and i will show you there are several ideas i've even planned trips out of this book I mean it goes down to uh, looks like about 12 pages in the videos ideas I have thought about front and back and at one point or another I shot the video uh, did the trip I mean let's see I know let's see planning trips to Nathan Beth Forest I did that last year that was one of my first camping trips of this fall was Nathan Bedford Forest actually it's still kind of summery but you got kind of cool Chattanooga trip there's Chattanooga trip you've seen that uh cooking with mid-10 outdoors I did that I'm gonna do some more of that this year Louisville trip we did that but we didn't film it uh you know first hike of 2022 so I plan on doing some hiking in 2022 so it's already in this book so do you do that or do you put it on your phone do you plan your videos leave down below and let me know if you do i do most of the time i plan my videos now every now and then when i do like say a product review on the straps or something i will try to go through and get all the the, the pertinent information that's needed to be put out there for that a lot of times when I'm doing product reviews, I do play with the stuff before I actually shoot the video. I make things sure how things work. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll do an opening, you know, first impressions, unboxing, whatever, and get my first impressions. So let me know how y'all do it down below. I'm not going to copy it or nothing, but I want to know your thought press thought process behind your videos. Let me know what you think. Let me know, you know, how you go about your process of videos up in your head. 
like I said, when I'm at work sometimes, I'll think of something, I'll jot it down. Or when I'm out eating or we're out doing another adventure somewhere else, I have written down video ideas, even on doing video ideas. <laughs> so, anyway, let me know down below. That's it for this one, short and sweet. I'm, trying, I'm going to try to keep the Saturday videos short and sweet. Um, but stay tuned. I'm not sure what's coming up Tuesday, but we got a good one coming up Tuesday. I know I've been doing a lot of video camera stuff and a lot of different things like that because it is January and the weather is very unpredictable. Uh, predicting snow for Sunday for tomorrow. We'll see if we get it or not. I'm not holding my breath. And at the same time, I'm getting the show shovel ready just in case. But that's it for now. I appreciate you watching. Do me a favor. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. Share it with your vast friends, enemies, whatever you want to do. I would appreciate it. So be prepared. See you on the next one.